Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Coming up on our year-end special of iPad Today, we are looking through a grand 2012. Oh, it's going to be awesome. And a look at iPads, iPhones, maps, and more. All that minus the iPhones on iPad Today. iPad Today is brought to you by the all-new Slingbox, which can turn your mobile device into a television. With the new Slingbox, you can watch high-def TV on your smartphone, laptop, or tablet anywhere there's an internet connection. Check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. And by audible.com. To download the free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcasts.com slash iPad Today. And by Landtronics, maker of the X-Print server. Print from your iPad, iPhone, or any iOS device to virtually any printer. For more information, visit xprintserver.com slash twit and use the offer code HOLIDAY2012 to get 20% off your order. Did our music change? No, it's always been... That's the same music as always? It's been the same music since the the very first show we did two and a half years ago. What show is this? iPad Today. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong show. I'll come. No, this no, is iPad you Today. No, th- you sit there and you like it <laughs> I like for it. an hour. No iPhones in this show, but we will have iPhones great, <laughs> I- iPads great and small. You know, it's, it's funny. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's not that we don't talk about we'll iPhones talk about the on iPhone, iPad but Today. It's, there are other shows on the network hosted by other people on the network that are all about iPhones. Right. That person is me. <laughs> Oh, you? That's yeah. the same as uh, it's just, the woman on iPad for I, the iPhone is you? It's me. Yeah. She's, she, you look shorter in person. Well, that's what they all say. <laughs> it's true. I know I look like a giant Amazon woman on camera, apparently. But yes, we once once we decided to break out an iPhone show. Yeah, we, we could thought, take some of that out of here. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not that we, it's off limits. Actually, if you think about it, uh, we've just spent five minutes talking about iPhones, so... So there you go. But there is so, iPhone So take here. that, people who don't want us to talk about iPhones. And... Happy New Year. We began i5 for the iPhone late in the year, so 2012 included iPhones and the iPad today. That's earlier. correct. Yeah. Well, we started, I think, in July. Maybe yeah, it was August. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. It wasn't really late. In the so year. welcome back. Uh, Thanks. How was Paris? Did you have fun? Paris was good. Uh, I had a really good time. It's very, very holiday-ish That's in, beautiful. In, in Paris. Yeah. Um, and what's kind of fun about this show is that for many of the shows on Twit, we do sort of a... I don't know, like a montage of the best ofs. And for something like iPad Today, that's kind of tough because we don't just want to rehash apps that people have already seen. Oh, come on, let's do it. Well, no, we, oh. we're going to talk about just kind of the best of the year yeah, rather than just rolling apps. segments that might feel a little bit dated And now. it's, you know, it's actually really easy because I, I iTunes has already picked all the apps. <laughs> Yeah. So we just go. Th- we'll just go through that list, shall we? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, we have some of our own that we really liked. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but I did notice that the top apps in the uh, Apple Store for the iPad mm-hmm. were apps in almost every case that we, you or I, mostly me, had picked. Really, mostly <laughs> you, huh? I seem to recall that I, my app cap was the app of the year. But we'll get to that. We will get to that in a few minutes. Okay. Fight to the death. Okay. But first, we should talk a little bit about just kind of the timeline. The timeline of 2012. This was a crazy year for Apple. It some began good stuff and some bad stuff. In January. It, the year began January 1st at midnight. And gee, that seems like a long time ago. But here's what's here's what's kind of crazy. So I was thinking, okay, well, what what what's been the biggest iPad news of the year? The mini. Well, no, well, but go back farther. Go back farther. The go, iPad three. Yeah, go back to March when we got our first Retina iPad, Retina which was iPad. not even a year ago. That's hard to believe. Isn't that crazy? That actually is amazing. Yeah. Because it seems like it's always been Retina. I know. Yeah. And which is why, even though we both have a mini. I still use my Retina iPad. It's beautiful. That's and now, do one. you have an iPad fourth generation yet? No, I do not. Okay. We had decided it didn't make a whole lot of sense right. to buy one for the show because there's kind of nothing wrong with the three. Right. That's a good thing for everybody to know. The fourth generation is just faster. 
Yeah. Uh, but I don't notice any speed issues with the third no. generation. I mean, it's got the new dock pin thing. It's got I, lightning. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's uh, okay. It'll charge faster, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. So we had the third gen iPad. That was March seventh. That's when uh, Apple had announced that. Seems like seems like more than a year ago, but it was 2012. <sighs> it's been a long damn year. Then uh, September 12th, uh, which was a week before iOS 6 rolled out. That we, fire. How'd you light that? Oh. It, that's amazing. Whoa. <laughs> that was <laughs> very nicely done. Nicely played, sir. Nicely played. I shouldn't have called attention no, to No, I'm it. in the holiday spirit now. That is festive. That is festivus mm -mm. for the rest of us. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, new iTunes came out September 12th. Not the new iTunes that was a big deal to everybody, but the new iTunes for iOS. That was sort of our little gift that we got a week before we actually got iOS 6 on September 19th. That's right. And iOS 6 added quite a bit of capability to the iPad. Yeah, and, and it took it away capability as well. Including Maps. That's right. Yeah. And, and native YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. Those were two Google properties that now have their own standalone apps. You know, in a way, and that's one of the biggest changes that's happened since you were gone, the, the addition of Google Maps, it's, now it's not for the iPad yet. But we have to think it's going to be here soon. And you certainly can use the iPhone version of Google Maps. Oh, yeah. Uh, and YouTube is great. It uses the new YouTube interface. I really like the new YouTube app a lot. So I think once we get an iPad version of Google Maps, it will have been, in the long run, an upgrade. I think so, too. Yeah. Uh, we, so we got the iPad Mini, as you mentioned. I like the Mini. You used the Mini in France? I did. Did um, I, I? I brought both of my iPads. I said that I was going to try to just use the mini, and I kept thinking, you know, on the plane though, I want the nice, I want the, I want the bigger screen because yeah. I'm going to be watching movies and stuff like that. And I, I did use the mini quite a bit, and I did take it out with me because it's easier to put in just a little sure. day bag, and it doesn't 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 weigh a lot. Sure. So yeah, I, I did use it quite a bit. I still, I'm not, I'm not gravitating towards the mini over my retina iPad yet. See, and that's funny because I am. And, and I, I might have thought it'd be different because I'm a big honking big guy. Yeah. And you're sort of petite. I would have thought the littler iPad would be more appealing to you. It's more appealing to me and you like the bigger iPad. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? I, I don't know. Maybe I guess it feels more special. I don't know. I, I really, I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. And again, I've only had the mini for a couple of weeks, right. so things might change a little bit. Right. So iPad mini came on October 23rd, as well as that fourth gen iPad that neither of us have even bought right. because it's not necessary. I wonder how the sales of that are. I, wonder if, I guess if you buy a new iPad, you're going to buy the latest one regardless. If you're going to buy Same a 10 price. inch, sure. Yeah. Yeah, of course yeah. you would. Yeah. The third gen isn't even available anymore. You can get it refurbed. Oh, really? Yeah. But they are selling the iPad 2 still. Right. <laughs> That's very strange. Yeah. <laughs> for for very little. Yeah, so it's I, cheap. You know, it's been it's been kind of a crazy year. iOS six was that was a pretty big story. Uh, we we had Apple Maps. People were upset about it. Yep. Extremely upset about it. In my opinion, uh, overly upset about it, as so, people tend to, to do. So we now have three candidates for the big story of the year: the iPad Retina display, mm -hmm. the i oh iOS six. And the iPad Mini, all three of them are pretty significant. Okay, so let's choose. What's our what's our big story of the year? I, I the iPad Retina, even though that this that was definitely the best iPad, you know, to date at the time, does seem like ah, you know, it's old news. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Just because it was so long ago. It's like when a movie comes out in in, in March, it never has a chance of winning an Oscar in, in September. Or December. Iowa Six, I think, got more negative attention than it got positive attention, even though we had the addition of things like Passbook. Um, Do you use Passbook? Did you use it in traveling? You know, wh when I used Passbook, I had rented an Airbnb uh, for four nights, my last four nights in Paris, and Airbnb works with Passbook. Who so knew? what did you show up at the door and show the guy your iPhone? Well, I didn't really have to do it that. It, it, it's not, it wasn't anything that required a transaction. Right. It was just an easy place for me Story. to have my details. You know, the phone number of the woman right. who I was renting the apartment from, where I was going, that sort of thing. So it's all there automatically. Yeah, it's just, okay. it, you know, it's, it's like the little, I've got a little, you know, sticky note in my right. wallet, basically. That's, that's how it worked. Right. And it actually did come in handy. That was kind of cool. The iPad Mini, I think, is a really big story just because we went into the year kind of hearing these rumors, but then thinking, no, but Steve Jobs said that Apple would never do anything I like know. this. Yeah. 
And they w did. And you even called the name. And I'm going to give you credit one more time, and then Thank I won't you. ever mention it again. You said right before the announcement, I think it is the name iPad Mini. We all thought that was a placeholder name. Well, I wasn't the only person who thought it would be called oh, iPad yeah, Mini. Oh, yeah, you were the only person. I was the only person in the yeah. world. Well, then yeah. I take full credit. <laughs> I obviously am an Apple mole, um, and that's why it's so great that we do this show. Yeah, but I, don't, I mean, what do, you, what do you think? Remember, you asked me at the time, and I thought, there's no way they're going to call it the Mini. It's a terrible name. Do you care anymore, though? No. You know, when in the, fact, the Mini is a perfect name. When uh, the iPad was first announced, we all didn't laughed. Like that name either. We all laughed for a solid 24 hours and made, you right. know, hygiene jokes. Right. And I don't. I mean, when's the last time you thought about the name iPad? Right. It's perfect. You get used to it. That's always yeah. the case with names. Uh, in fact, when we name shows, often we hate the name uh, iPad today. What a stupid name! But <laughs> once once you say you it about a dozen on times. That. I Love did, it. did I insist on this? You did. Oh, good. Yes. Uh, I thought it was pretty straightforward. It's about the iPad. Well, and that's. It, and I think today. that's actually what what works for us. It's, yeah, straightforward. It's pretty obvious what the show was yeah. about. So. We didn't want to surprise anybody. No. Now we went back and forth on i5 for the iPhone, but it grows on you. I remember I wanted to call it I O Yes. That would have not grown on me. But you thought it was kind of fun. A lot of other people did not. We had a little test audience, and they said, "Don't call it that." I will hate yes. you forever. So it became i5 for the iPhone, which is fine too, because because now it's kind of a you know five thing. You know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know what you're getting. The point being that however bad a name is, it, Voldemort, you get used to it after <laughs> a while. You say it enough, it just comes natural. And yeah, and then you you know all of a sudden you're calling your aunt Susan Voldemort because it's just <laughs> it's just a nice little pet name, you know. She it's who some familiar shall not be named. Oh, uh, so uh, so yeah, it's been it's been a big year for. Or Apple. We've got we've got uh, Scott Forstall left the company. That was big. In fact, I don't think that uh, that you know I think that really ranks up there with the top story. Not not Scott leaving, but the reorganization. Tim Cook putting his stamp on Apple, getting Johnny Ive to be in charge of human interface design across the entire company, mm -hmm. uh, putting Eddie Q in charge of software, getting rid of Scott Forstall. All of these things were uh, unique in Apple history. Nobody's really had that kind of horizontal responsibility except Steve Jobs. So I think that there's a lot to be said for this. This is a very big story. This could be the big story of 2012. Well, so are you calling it the big story of 2012? I the can't management decide. shake up? I can't well, you're going to have to. I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. Well, that's uh, now so now we have and I think the maps uh, debacle is is a huge story. That's a subset of the iOS well, 6 story. Well, and it's story. that is still evolving too. Yeah, it sure is. Well, you know, we've got rumors of Foursquare and Apple teaming up to have more local search results. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah as well. Obviously Apple's already working with Yelp. Yeah. But it's it's really no contest well, between Apple and Google right now. Let's but ask Apple the, the chat room. What do you right. think, chat room, was the big story of 2012 when it comes to the iPad. We've got iPad 3, the first retina display. We've got the iPad mini. We've got iOS 6, or the subset, the uh, Maps debacle. And we've got the reorg at the top. Your foot's on fire! Ow! <laughs> Careful. This fire, it's so nice that we could take this old radio, hollow it out, and put an actual fire in there. Yeah, I think so that's really it's, great. I mean, it's burning my fingers iPad off. retina, iPad mini, mini. Um, the, A uh, hand. Maps to backle. It's kind of hard to choose. Bob Mansfield leaving, then coming back. Yeah, um, that too. It's true. Because the uh, retina display was in March, we've lost a little bit of perspective on that. It was a very big, big story. Oh, yeah. Reorg, retina, bigger iPhone. We're not doing it's... the iPhone stories. We're not going to include those. No, no, because that's... That's an iPhone. Right. right. Well, the thing is, is that if we talk about iPhone too much, then the people, and there are many of you who have iPads but don't also just love all Apple products, right. say, don't do that. We, you know, we're, we're, we don't have a suite of Apple products. That's not why I watch the show. So, hey, I okay. Th I think that ev because it still looms large, even viewed at the wrong end of the binoculars, we've got to give the iPad 3 retina display, the first retina display, for an iPad, we've got to give that the story of the year. You award. think so? I think so. And that was the new iPad before the, the new, new, new old iPad. New iPad. Old new iPad. Yeah. You have been crowned story of the year on iPad today. <laughs> back in back on March seventh, a lifetime ago. I think I was at South by Southwest. God, it just really does seem like so long ago. It was well because. And remember how much we hated it that they didn't call it iPad anything. It was just the new iPad. Well, no, I and didn't now, hate that at all. You threw. Well, it but in his. hindsight, that was a terrible name because what is the new iPad today? The fourth gen, which now they're calling again because they. They know they can't the... call it the new iPad again. 
They must have known they could in have. March. Now, that's they, an interesting that's question. That's the thing. They could have. They chose not to, and I'm not sure why. Obviously, the iPad mini is not going to be confused with the new iPad. Well, I guess maybe now that I say it out loud, it is sort it's of very confusing. confusing. <laughs> right. It's very And we have to resort all the time to say third generation, fourth generation, mm -hmm. and mini. We have to make the distinction. Well, there you have it. It's been a big year for Apple, uh, and those are just a few of the things that we've talked about on this show. Thanks to everybody who was uh, playing along in chat uh, while we were live. Uh, quick reminder, this is kind of a special show. It's a little it's a little different than our regular format, but if you ever hear about apps that we talk about or stories that we mention, you think, oh, I really yeah, I want to reference that, and I forget what it was called, that sort of thing, you can always go to twit.tv slash IPT. That is our website where all of our show notes give you links to all the stuff that we talk about, you know? In episode 127, we talked about all sorts of good stuff. And you can scroll down a little bit like Chad's, you know, where you were like robots and that. Look at you. you Me, are, I am a Leo robot. Leo Laporte is not impressed. <laughs> wow. That is really, that kind of says our relationship right there. <laughs> You're constantly trying to please me, and I'm just. Uh, I'm, and you're just, I'm, and you're just absolutely not impressed. Not anyway, impressed. that's that's uh, that's where you find all of our show notes, and that's also where you can subscribe to the show. We've got audio and video feeds. You've got nice HD video if you want to see all of our pores. It's just a nice way to not have to think about uh, when we're shooting the show. It just gets delivered to you automatically. Automatically. And a quick reminder that normally, uh, for anybody who's watching the show live, we're shooting a little bit, but before the. We're shooting it a little bit out of order because we're going to be uh, off for the Christmas week. Oh, we are, are we? Oh, we are. It's Didn't true. you just take time off? You you did this to me. <laughs> I, I didn't ask for this. I did this to you. You, you said right. it will be. We no, the studio will be I closed. De I decree. Don't come. The studio would shall be closed. So there you day. go. But a quick reminder that uh, normally we do shoot the show at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific thereabouts, depending on the rest of our schedule, on Thursdays. Thanks to everybody who watches live each week, and thanks to everybody who, if you can't watch live, watches us on demand. We love you all. We do indeed. You know who else loves you? Lantronics. Last chance, though, to get that great deal on the Lantronics X-Print server. This is an amazing little box that is just going to solve all your printing problems. If you have an iPad or any iOS device, you can print from it to virtually any printer, even if it's not a network printer. The Lantronics X-Print server turns USB printers into network printers. It, it also is about as easy to use as anything. There's nothing uh, you have to do. No configuration, no setup. It just happens. It just works. It supports more than 4,000 top brand network printers. Uh, it's automatic. It's easy to use. You get automatic discovery. Here it is over here, the Lantronics. And look how little it is. It's just so cute. Uh, on one side, you get your power supply, you've got your Ethernet port, your USB port, and uh, you just plug that in. You plug it into your printer, and suddenly, uh, you're printing from your iPad over the over the network. One X Print server supports multiple printers and virtually unlimited iOS devices. Just open it, plug it in, and print. Home Edition ninety nine dollars supports up to eight USB and two network printers. The Office Edition is $199, supports up to eight USB and unlimited network printers. You know, I'm, I, we, we try to pick advertisers uh, with products that we think you want. This one kind of blew me away, in fact. I got a call on the radio show on Saturday. Guy says, I'm calling to, <laughs> to complain about something. I said, I said, oh, no. He said, yeah, the Lantronics. I said, oh, no. He said, I was counting on downloading drivers, updating configurations updating firmware. I didn't get to do any of that. I just plugged it in and it worked. I am disappointed. Did you really? <laughs> he was joking, but I think oh. that that's the point. It was very easy to use. Now, here's the gift to you from Lantronics, and there is really only about one more week to take advantage of this. Get XPrint Server for 20% off when you use the holiday code HOLIDAY2012. So it's a special offer for the month of December the offer code is HOLIDAY2012, and you'll receive 20% off your order. And they're selling so many of these, they said, we can't keep doing this. After December, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna stop this because you're breaking the bank here. That's awesome. I'm thrilled. You guys, take advantage of this. xprintserver.com slash twit. Last chance to get 20% off. Now this really is a deal. 20% off Lantronics X Print Server. Connect smart. Do more with Lantronics. Make sure you visit 
Lantronics, I'm sorry, xprintserver.com slash twit and use the offer code HOLIDAY2012. That's a, that's a real success story. That's, a, that's one that has just taken off and I'm so happy for that. Well, and it's a need that people have. Well, that's what, I, you that, know, you I wasn't know, sure, is, but it's true. But that was the oh, thing. Yeah. It really is. Absolutely. Oh, I mean, even though we, we actually have a, I have a networked printer over at my desk here at Twit that actually works with an, you know, it's 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 one, it's an iPad friendly printer. And, but and not that's all, all printers fine. are. Well, clearly not. Yeah, no. You have to, usually. You have, but, like, I, but I'm well aware of how annoying it can be yeah. when I'm not right at that desk to print from the iPad. Right. It's like, oh, now I got to get it somewhere else. And right. you don't do any of that with Lightning. I have to download. Uh, software for my printer at home. I mean, it's just, it's, it's annoying. It's just annoying. Yeah. It's, it's plug and play. Nothing plug to do. Play. Yep. Hey, so uh, Apple's best apps of 2012, they do this every year. The App Store has their sort of app of the year, game of the year, some runners up. And then I they... think you deserve some kudos for this one. You did, you did, you've, there is not, there are, there's nothing on that list that I think either you or I, mostly you, didn't pick. You said ex I know, exact I know. opposite thing. I know. I'm Don't try to butter me uh, up. I'm trying to butter you up. Uh, so the, what was the app of the year? App of iTunes? the year was, drum roll please, paper. Yeah, li I love that. It's not, not like paper made out of a tree. No, no, no. But by, uh, paper. 53 uh, uh, yeah, it was, uh, designs or whatever. Yeah. This was, yeah. Uh, this is the app that is, I mean, a sketch app, I guess you could say, but it's really a whole lot more. Obviously, I don't have We're a We're not lot of, artists, so... I'm not, I'm not an artistic person. I think that's pretty but good. But see, I wrote, hey, Leo. Oh, yeah. you haven't used this much since then, have you? No, I haven't, but... Me neither. I bought it. I bought it for six ninety. dollars Now, it's a free app, but you have to end up buying six ninety nine. You get all the tools. Uh, so think of it as a six ninety nine app, but you know, I never use it. You know, I I'm actually no did. I actually did um, talk about paper not that long ago when I think it was Eileen Rivera who was uh, the guest host because you were in mm -hmm. Australia that week because they had a really nice update where uh, the color palette by default, you know, you get a, you get a bunch of uh, 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 colors and, right. and you choose from those and that's all fine and good. But they had introduced a neat update that allowed you to mix your own colors mm. between a couple of different colors. Oh, pretty. Which was really, I mean, this is just, it's such a very artistic, very, very artistic app. And yeah, you've got, like you said, um, you have uh, some drawing utensils for free. The rest of them are in-app purchases. Uh, and then you can just all, do all sorts of stuff. I think Chad, even on the uh, the app page, uh, it shows a little bit more of what paper can actually do when someone's really, really talented. You know, you can storyboard ideas. I don't know what that was. That's the the game of the year. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, which yeah. we'll get to in a second. You know, Nicole Lee. I think it was Nicole Lee, formerly of of Twit, had posted. I think it was something on Instagram of a sketch she had done on paper. And I was like, oh my God, you're an artist. That's amazing. This is also one of the apps that a lot of folks said, well, now is the good time to finally get a stylus. Yes. Because we actually have the kind of app that allows for these very sort of precise, clean lines and you know, almost sort of like calligraphy kind of stuff. Of course, it de depends on what, uh, what you're using. Actually, I have a suggestion for you. Do you? For a stylus. Yeah, I really like this. I just got this. Uh, my friend Steve Levine, who runs a catalog that you might have heard of called Levenger. Have you ever heard of the Levenger catalog? It's for readers, but they also sell beautiful pens. And they have a new pen. In fact, I, I, it's, uh, it's in my office, so I won't jump up and get it. But they have a new pen that I... No, no, actually, Lisa has, uh, has the rollerball one. Why don't you bring me that one if she's left it on her desk? Um, but it is for, I think, the people who perhaps want both a pen... Mm-hmm. And a stylus. They call it the L Tech Plus. This is they have a fountain pen, they have a ballpoint, and they have a roller pen. Look at this. Now this I'm giving Steve a free plug because I just think this first of all it's a beautiful pen. Yeah, it looks nice. And uh, and it and it unscrews. It's kind of an architectural style, as you can see, um, with the architectural grip. But look at this. On the end of it, what looks like an eraser is actually a capacitive stylus. So this is really great if you have paper and you want to draw. Well, let, here, give it, give it. Yeah, go ahead and do, do some drawing in your paper. Let's do a little something, something. Yeah. I'm not right-handed, so you don't have to unscrew is... it to do the, oh. the stylus. It's on the top. Oh, see? I see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pick a oh. color, <laughs> any color. 
See, look at that. Oh, yeah, I love that See, already. isn't that much better? So now you've got a great pen. I actually use the fountain pen. That's that's the one I use. It that's a make, roller it ball, and they have like a ballpoint. It makes like I'm like really cool and artistic, and yeah. you know. They're yeah. sell, they have a sale on them. They're 79 bucks right now at Levenger, L-E-V-E-N-G-E-R.com. Oh, these are great. Aren't those nice? Yeah. You know, the, it's their L Tech line. Every once in a while, uh, we'll get uh, emails from people saying, "You know, I, I really love this, and I want to, I want to take notes during class or that sort of thing." And I'm not crazy about the idea of typing or having an external keyboard. I really just kind of want to write it out longhand. What are the best styles? Paper might Style work for that. Uh, Paper. Just taking notes, right? Yeah. I mean, especially if there's creative element involved. Right. You uh, draw the a creative sketch. types. Yeah, and you're 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 kind of just. You're getting it all out um, onto a canvas of yeah. sorts. Um, there's a there's a Verge article um, that that I'm always linking people to also that had a really great write up um, of Styli because of when a paper was released into the App Store, it became very clear that we needed to have uh, some some good stylus options. So so that's paper. It's App of the Year, which is I mean that's a that's a big crown. Now I'm going to mention the Macintosh App of the Year from the App Store which was day one, and the reason I do is because it is a Mac app, but it was also an app cap for us for journaling because it works on the iPhone and the iPad too. And it uses Dropbox or iCloud, so you can keep your journal on any device and mm -hmm. it'll all sync up, so your each device will have your day one uh, journal on it. You can search it, you can tag it, you could put in pictures, uh, notes. Um, you don't have to, by the way, use this for um, as a, uh, why can't it get out of that? Is there a? I think I think it just wants you to go past enjoy. I want to go past enjoy. There I really go. do. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really want to go past enjoy. You so, know, I, now am I crazy? Because I don't remember you talking about this. No, this was uh, well. It I might think not have been on iPad today. It might have been an app cap on uh, Mac Break Weekly because yeah. it's a Mac app. Right. Andy Anako picked it. I might have mentioned this on iPad today. In any event, it is a great app if you want. If you. If, I don't keep a journal, but if you're or a diary, but if you're one of those people who always wanted to, mm -hmm. you know, and and somebody's calling me. Oh. Well, you don't you don't get that much. No. On the iPad Today show. No. No, I don't. I think I'll decline that call. But but thanks for calling during the show. Right. Uh, so you can see I have a lovely picture of a of a of a salad. Yeah, it's blurry and it looks <laughs> yummy. It looks like there's some feta. Okay, I'm not going to show you anything else because you're going to mock my postings. Anyway, that isn't really an, an app that was picked for the iPad, but it is an iPad app. Confusing yeah. though that might be. The game is game amazing. Of the the game of the year. year. It's called the Room. Right. And that is that was. I think you will agree. Something that I mentioned. You did. It was one of your app caps, and I remember saying, "No, oh, I like this one." It's beautiful. It's a puzzle because game because it's puzzle stuff. If you uh, played Myst, uh, you will absolutely recognize this as that's that kind of style of a puzzle game. Uh, you can, uh, you know, play. The game is challenging, by the way. It is not an easy puzzle game. It's also gorgeous. So as you play it, you really get to get to get involved in the environment. As you can see, uh, you know, it's very mist-like. Doesn't it feel like that? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and I've completely forgotten. But you collect items. Uh, you solve problems. You saw It's got a whole storyline that goes on in it, and I've, which I've completely forgotten. But this is The Room. Gorgeous. Well worth it. I don't think it's for I think it's four bucks, five bucks. It's well worth it. Uh, $2, actually. $2. That's yeah. Great. It may have come down a bit, but yeah. it's $2 currently in the App Store. So yeah. absolutely, for Game of the Year, you definitely... <sighs> Definitely want well, to. Uh, it, you know, it's a fun game, but I think it also won because it's just it's stunning. I mean, it's really gorgeous. You yeah. know, one of the uh, runner-up apps, which is they, the, what they do is they've got app of the year and then game of the year, and I guess they just figure if a game was app of the year, it just gives you sort of basically right. two two number ones, and then they have runner-up app of the year and then a runner-up game of the year. The runner-up app of the year is not an app that I had downloaded previously, it's Action Movie FX. And so what? I went ahead and did, and went, how is this a, what, how is this a runner up, what? That's fun, I love it, I've been using it it's, for a long time. It's really fun. How did I not have this downloaded before because I love this kind of thing? I think it was an iPhone only, wasn't it? Oh, uh, maybe that's why. Yeah. Maybe that's why, before we had iPhone I bought iPhone. a whole bunch of effects on this thing. Oh, so this was when you were doing um, uh, Gizwiz a couple of hours ago? I showed. Oh, you, did you do something with it? Yeah, I made this happen to you. Oh, that's funny, because I made that happen to my car. 
And that's one of the first ones I used as really? well. Really? Yeah. So these are effects from actual films that they allow you to superimpose on top this of was, your... This was me being somebody who's overreacting about Instagram's new terms of Do service. one gigabyte free. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is, is that you take short videos. Um, I'll go back to into the scene select area. You shoot the video ahead of time, five seconds thereabouts. Yeah, exactly. That and this is sense. this is a this is a, a clip that sorry, it's kind of loud. And you can, a clip you can, that you can save and add into some other timeline. Right, you know, in right. I have them on Facebook. Sort of I, have, I have post them on Facebook. But what's cool is that they're, they're not all free. Again, this is, you know, an in-app type of a thing. The car smash, though, is free. Demolition Rock is also free. So if I were, for example, wanting to... Let's try to get this out of here. So, okay, we've got the really interesting set here in the background. I'll go ahead and say... Okay, and then once it turns see that, green... See that target? Yeah. That's the key. Once it turns green, uh, then it's like, okay, we've we've got enough video in order to make this effect. And I go ahead and say, okay, let's do that. Then it says, I'm making the movie. It's fairly quickly. I'm sure the fourth gen iPad would would scream along. Yeah, see, that's why you in, want that. in this circumstance. Yeah. But this is sort of just a you know one-off type of a thing. Then when it's done, you get your. <laughs> <laughs> that's just so stupid. <laughs> I love it. That's and then, good. of course, yeah, if you want to share uh, the, the the lovely video that you made, you can go ahead and share it to Facebook, email, or, or save it to your camera roll. Um, I saved everything that I did today to my camera roll just so I'm like, I don't know, just maybe I won't be back in here for a while. Um, but it's it's just sort of, it's a funny thing to have. And, and it's free, like I said. Not, not all of the effects are free right off the bat, but you can definitely have some fun. Um, uh, with the free app itself before you end up buying some extra packs. Like the drone pack is, let's see, if I go ahead and unlock it, it's another. Uh, so, so. Scan to unlock. I don't understand. Well, I don't know. It's, it's being difficult in telling me how much it would be. You have to buy them. Uh, yeah. You only get the first two effects for free. Uh, but you can restore purchases. I bought. I bought almost all. Well, now hold on. All I have used. I used <laughs> about four effects today, and I didn't buy anything. Oh, maybe you. Uh, maybe you were cheating. Well, I don't know how I could do that. Have I? Have I discovered the secret of? Maybe uh, you've hacked it in some interesting way. Possibly. Yeah. Oh, I mean, is it possible that I've had this downloaded before and I had restored a purchase? I don't think so. Now I. Uh, so okay. So you uh, got one paper. Yes. Uh, I got a half a one for day one. Uh -huh. I got one for, because I recommended room. Right. Here's a tiebreaker. Yeah. You remember Waking Mars? Yes. Yeah. That's the runner-up game. Yeah, I know. I know that. Okay. All Just right. Just mentioning uh, okay. this is one that uh, so I also far. recommended. It was a very odd game where you're wandering through Mars and kind of finding uh, plants. And it was just a very strange game. $5. Um, well, now, why do you think that this was a runner-up? Because it was so unique? I think so, because it's, it's, it's a little... It's not, you know, 3D animation rendering. It's a little funky, but where it succeeds is the very interesting storyline. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it was why I picked it. I, it it's quirky. It's, a, it's a, little, uh, a little odd. Well, now, you're always saying that there are a lot of the first-person shooter type of uh, uh, well, game that doesn't work that well on the right. iPad. This this is more like your dinosaur egg game. Mm. What is that wandering? Arriving HD. Arriving. That was like two years ago. Yeah, I know, but I'm never letting you down. Sheesh. I'm never letting you forget it. It's just like the that game kind of meets a story. Okay. <laughs> so I think arriving it, also has it's a story. Kind of this the egg. egg. Has to you hatch. keep looking, you keep looking, and then finally it hatches, Jeez. and there's nothing. It's a physics game. Anyway, this is like that, but. With more gaming around it, and that's your point is well taken, which is it's native. It's an iPad native app. It's an app that wouldn't really work on a console or a PC. It's really designed for something you can rotate, move sure. around, squeeze. Well, and I pinch. think you could say the same thing for the room, even though same? it's more of a puzzle yeah. game. It's a fun game to 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 touch and yeah. and 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 zoom around and 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 try to open up. Yeah. I, vaults and. Yeah, but I, but again, it's very much like a game that was very popular in the earliest days of the Macintosh, Mist. Mm -hmm. And uh, that certainly was a success on a keyboard and a, sure. uh, and a screen. People are still into mist. Love mist. You got a, you got a lot of mist enthusiasts. That, out I there. think that's really the inspiration for the room. So Leo. 
Those are the best apps. Those are the best apps of 2012. We will also have a link to the full list. This is something that you can I'm just proud of just us. look it up on the App Store, but we'll we'll have the link in our show notes as well. I'm just proud of us because I think that if you watch this show, none of these apps are like, wow, I never heard of that one. Well, I mean, I didn't have Action Movie FX down there. Well, I probably should have told you about it. it. I had it on the i5. On the iPhone. Yeah. I call it an i5 now because of you. Well, good. I had it on the i5. Well, it's an iPhone 5, so it right. kind of is an i5, really. It's an really. i5, yeah. Yeah, that's um, cute. And little. I've had that for years. In fact, the very first movie I posted in 2012 was a picture of my car. I just picked it up January 3rd, mm -hmm. and it was the thing, the car landing on it. Oh, it's really? On, it's on my Facebook timeline. It's the very first thing I ever posted. So it's I claim... It's very possible that I've seen I, that, and I just blocked I, it out. You, you, you blocked it out. I claim... Ago credit for that one fine well. you win you win the best <laughs> apps I, 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 I picked three out of four i think it would be difficult just because we cover so we many do. apps in a year yeah for us to not have <laughs> have been familiar with most of the the top apps if we weren't we'd be doing something wrong i guess you're right so, that's why you watch this show that's right yeah because that's what we do <laughs> this is a weird show isn't it yeah the rhythm isn't there yet <laughs> we're gonna need another couple of years. <laughs> this is we're, we're, a couple of years. It's the end of the. If we're, you said the rhythm isn't there yet. Two years. Rhythm you think it's is a dancer. Just da da. It's because it's an end of the year show. We're tired. The Yule Tide. Too much Yule Tide. Can you see the bags under my eyes? Well, I've. I mean, I don't even start with me about bags, and <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something drastic in 2013. I don't see any bags under your eyes? Well, because or I use lines. concealer. Oh. So, they're there. Speaking of concealer. Speaking of something to do with concealer. <laughs> You know who wears a lot of concealer? Who's the that? The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> How did you know? Why do you always you bust me every time for watching that show during uh, during this show? Well, because it's sometimes really obvious that you're <laughs> not paying en attention. Engrossed into your stupid Slingbox app. But it's just so much fun to watch those Real Housewives and see what they're up to. Oh yeah, I know because they, they have like such they, interesting lives. They do. They seem like they'd be fun to get to know. There's always a charity event or something, <laughs> and someone's mad. <laughs> Uh, so this is the sling box that we're talking about, which actually turns your iPad into your personal television. That's set. magic. Quit it, talking crazy. It's, it's really cool, and it uses the internet too, which is really really neat. <clears throat> so here's the deal: you go. In fact, if you go to the slingbox.com/slash/twit, you can see the new Sling Player 500, which just came out. It Slingbox 500, which just came out. It beautiful device. It hooks up to your home theater so your dvd your satellite box your cable box all that stuff you plug it in the back and then you plug it to the internet wi-fi now as well as a uh, hardwired now here's the beauty of this you now have password protected access to your home theater system anywhere you go they have an iphone app an ipad app an android app you can watch on a desktop and you're watching high def video from your home theater system on the road you can actually and i even use it this way if you've got an ipad it gives you a TV set you can take around. You know, I don't have a TV in the kitchen, no problem. I bring my iPad, my sling player with me, and there I'm watching it anywhere. Uh, great for football games. If you're going to miss the big game, you got to go out on a beer run. Take your iPad with you. It's a great device. One of the coolest gadgets every, anywhere. The new Slingbox 500 has HDMI, has built-in Wi-Fi, has a full 1080p picture. It is really fantastic. Visit the uh, Amazon or a Best Buy or Fry's to get one, or check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. You won't believe how good the picture quality is. It's just fantastic. So we got quite a bit of feedback this week, as we do every week. And even though this is like a, what? Negative feedback? No, no, oh, no, no. Okay. It's, I would say the vast majority of the feedback we get is, is positive. People have ideas for apps, or they want to talk about this or that. In fact, um, Eric Kitlaus, Kitlaus um, who is the creator of a Kickstarter project um, for an iPad stand, I know you guys are going to really like this, called Slope, wrote in to kind of say, hey, you guys, I love the show. In fact, he says, um, I'm the creator of Slope iPad stand that's currently running on Kickstarter. Um, and a few days ago, this is a little, this is a few couple weeks ago now, yeah. by the time that you're yeah. seeing this, I uh, was running on Kickstarter and we surpassed our funding goal oh. of $60,000 with oh. a week left to go. Oh, I'm excited. He says, it's elegant, supremely minimal, and that. it's powered by suction. 
That's suction? He says, looks like I, a magnet. I know. Isn't that cool? He yeah. says, I'd be honored He's if you neat. have a look. Thanks, guys. Keep up the great work. I literally spend a dozen hours a week watching your shows. Well, we love you for that. Look at Thank that. you, Eric. Isn't this great? <laughs> love it. No, of course, he's, he says right on the Kickstarter page, too. This could be for an iPad or an 7 or 10 or, yeah. you know, a Kindle. Any tablet. And yeah, anything. So this has a flexibility that a lot of these guys don't because it's a suction cup. Isn't that great? Yeah. I love this. And it just looks like something Striking that right Apple would make. Grip strength they made their goal. Uh, yeah, they sure did. 1,061 backers. They've raised 83,000 to date. There's about 40 hours to go. Uh, that's great. Good luck, Eric. Absolutely. And if you're wondering, well, how you know what, what's this, what, how can I buy one? You know, as Kickstarter projects go, in order to get one of the early uh, models, you donate. Yeah, you donate, and I th I think the the least amount that you can donate to get one is somewhere around forty dollars. You want to see a successful Kickstarter project? I, I sure. I just do. got. In fact, we were, we're we plugged it we plugged it earlier on. It's ten Terra, the number ten T E R R A, and they make these beautiful wooden cases. Oh, yeah. Uh, I showed you the Kindle, uh, right, the Nexus 7 one. This is the iPad case. They fit on very firmly. Uh, this is, and they're real wood. Oh, really? They have holes for, yeah, feel it. They have holes for all the ports. And it really is secure and just feels nice in your hands. It does. Does it make it too heavy, though? Well, uh, it does make it heavier. It makes it a little bit heavier. It, sure, it? it really does feel good, though. I, I, I like it. I think it would be very protective. Mm -hmm. um, I had one on my Nexus 7 uh, for a long time, and I really like it. And this was a Kickstarter project. In fact, we mentioned it while it was still raising money. I can't yeah. make it that much heavier. These feel like ounces. Oh, no. Wow. So I think you just forgot how heavy the iPad is. You probably <laughs> haven't lifted it in a while. Well, you know, or, or, or you put you put a little something else on it, and all of a sudden it feels different. No, it feels like air. Yeah, they're not That heavy. was all iPad. I was, yeah, it was I all was iPad that you were feeling. <laughs> I, I don't think they made it that much heavier. No, no, that's really nice. It, is it bamboo? It, it looks like bamboo. They have a variety of different uh, wood finishes if you go to... 10terra.com. I think this would be a great gift. This is this is fifty dollars. The i they have one for the iPhone five as well. Some of them have uh, a tree etched on it that looks very very pretty, kind of it's laser really nice. etched. There's the there's the one with the tree for the iPad. Oh yeah. So this was a successful Kickstarter as well. Yeah, the the Kickstarter projects for um, for iOS devices, but particularly the iPad, are are there are many, and it's always nice to 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 highlight some of the cool ones. So thanks to Eric. You made a great. Yeah, good luck, um, Eric. We'll look forward to seeing the stand. Yeah. Oh, look, they've they've got you got you talking about. Yeah, because I because I plugged it. You because don't you, talked you, about you don't it. believe me when I said that I. Well, no, I believe you. I gave you. them a plug. I believe you. Yeah. I just see. I know. We just don't need to watch that. No, we right don't now. because here I am. <laughs> and, saying it again. Right. Um. So yeah, slope. Uh, the slope iPad stand. Um. Is 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 Eric. Do they? Did he say project. how much it's going to be when it comes out? I didn't see that information. It must be in the donation area because that's usually, you know, if you give me 50 bucks, I'll give you one. Well, that's why I said I think it was, I think the lowest amount, if you pull up the... Um, $55. Yeah, $55. So that's for the Slope Mini. Right. Well, yeah. and it's also sold out, so... Um, right. $59. I mean, they've met their goal. So in a way, it's, it's you, you, I mean, you if you really, really believe in the project... Um, then you go ahead and plunge I a little bit more. I want that. I like Isn't it. Isn't that neat? I, re I think the I suction really cup like is very the clever. The simplicity of yeah, it. Yeah, that's a clever idea. And although I like my smart cover just fine, when I'm kind of tapping on my iPad, yeah, it's not it's, solid. It's not solid. And yeah. and and the slope does look solid. We got a duh tip from Robert Bloom, uh, who says. I found when viewing a podcast or video on my iPad or, or iPhone and the dog has to go out for the fourth time in the last half hour or something like that and I have to pause my video again instead of just tapping for the video control at the bottom of the iPad and then tapping pause, I simply swipe down the notifications and then Yeah, that it pauses. pauses everything, doesn't it? Well, okay, so... That's clever. It's... Okay. So I, I was like, really? Let's try this. Because I didn't really know what Robert was talking about. And so I went ahead and I was watching an episode of Real Housewives. But we don't, <laughs> we don't have to watch that right now. We'll watch the layover. Layover's yeah, way cooler, Yeah, you right? too. Uh, way cooler. Yeah, we're hey, giving me a hard time. I was on a plane time. for 11 hours. I just yeah, wanted candy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so so if, you're, um, if, you're, if you're watching a video, you know, just watch this for like... Okay, so it's like... So you don't have your controls. Let's get our controls out of there. It's the Paul So then... Okay. Slide it down. It pauses it. But I well, mean, is, that, it works. is that really easier than pa pressing the pause button? Than just going like this. That's so. 
Uh, okay, let's try it again. Some people prefer it. Wait, like really? It. That's great. We are, it we doesn't are even do nerds. it the first time. It still takes two swipes. Uh, okay. I wonder, it works with games too, though, right? So I'm in a game. Yeah. I'm prepared to descend. Yeah. Um, and I can... This begins our historic mission. He's still talking. I am honored to have you as my team. Yeah, but nothing's really happening right now. Right. So maybe the audio can He was continue. finishing his audio. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you'd say something like that. You see, not, not all games. Watch yourself in that cave, okay? I will. Not not all games have a pause button. So this for something video, yeah, there's an easy pause button. Sure. But some things that, that you're doing that you might want to pause it. I do I do like uh, the the creative nature of that duh tip though, Robert. It's yeah. something I did not realize you could do. So yeah. hey, maybe one day you'll need it. You could call me maybe. Yeah. Those other guys. This is crazy. They want to date me. She doesn't say that. She doesn't? No, she's trying to chase me. Trying to chase me. me. I can't tell. She's, her, she's, she's, her addiction is it, poor. Well, there's just, it's just, it's, <laughs> everything rhymes. That's you, all I need to remember. It's just a very rhymey song. Try to chase me. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe. maybe. Well, look at o Ozzy came right up. He said, Carly Rae, I love he her. He loves Carly Rae Jepsen. Loves Come Carly on, Ozzy. You get, you get on up here. You join us for iPad today. It's not on, iPad Ozzy. today without you. You can't see him, but I promise you there's a small dog there. No, don't play this because it'll get pulled off of... All right. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. You can't do anything fun anymore. No. Copyright? Shmoffy right. Hey, we got a video from Carl. Okay. Uh, he says uh, he's a middle school teacher in Scottsdale, Arizona. Yes, he and is. And he has a 6th through 8th grade class that has a one-to-one -one iPad paperless classroom oh. uh, for the first time this year. We, he said, we made a spoof video to honor our principal on his birthday. <laughs> so I thought I would share it with you. It's how we really use our iPads in the classroom. Uh. Hello, Mr. Kaleo and Mr. Putz. We heard that it was your birthday, so we thought we would put together this little video to tell you all the things that we do with our iPads in the middle school. Mr. Kaleo and my Mr. Putz. <laughs> I use mine for serving beverages to my parents. <laughs> hey, Mom. I use mine for online shopping. <laughs> I use mine as a cereal bowl. <laughs> I use mine as a back scratcher. <laughs> I use mine for reading online books. Oh, that's good. <laughs> She's got a book I use on mine to prop up my chair. Oh, no, no, no! I use my iPad for watering my plants. Wow, it actually works. Yeah, there's water in there. I use my iPad to print my hair. <laughs> this is just cute. This I goes use on for mine like as an five minutes. Machine. Wow. These kids are, you we know. Use our iPads for playing games like cards. That's I cool. I use mine as They're a mouse so pad. Cute. <laughs> I use my iPad for erasing the board. <laughs> this is just a fun I school. use my iPad as a hot pad. I think they all get iPads, obviously. Well, they, that's the whole thing. It's a that's paperless good. classroom. That's really Which cool. is really fun. Yeah. So they're like, we have so many iPads, let's just make a joke video <laughs> about how useless they are. Did they make it with an iPad? That's the question. I don't know. There's something cute. There's something it's adorable. It's just so adorable. It's, it's not, like, I just yeah. want to be in sixth grade again. Yeah. Yeah. You could be. I don't think so. Yeah. You're smarter than a sixth grader. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if that's true either. Maybe I don't even not. know if I'm smarter than a fifth grader. I don't know. It, there's a lot of stuff that they know that I've forgotten. That's true. Uh, the history of California. Well, no, that was fourth grade. We learned and a lot about And not much California use. Did you make grade. a mission out of sugar cubes? No, but we had to read a lot about missions. They do that now. I think uh, in fourth grade in California, you have a project where you go to a mission and then you build a model, scale model of the mission. That I did do that actually. That's what I thought. Yeah. It was it was one of those uh you know you uh, you 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 build it in a shoebox and then you cut a hole and then you, you could look do it. You the some people use. Wow, I totally forgot about that. Some people use sugar cubes, toothpicks, shoeboxes, whatever. Sugar cubes. Comes to hand. What happens when it rains? Well, <laughs> your project is moot. Not a not a project to leave in the rain. Certainly not. Someone left my mission in the rain. Hi, Ozzy. Little invisible doggy. Do we have anything more to do, or is this show over? The show's not over. No, no, no. I, I want to first. I want to thank you for. It. Just he's cute. I haven't been here for a couple weeks, and it's a cute dog. Cheers. He's down there. I thought I was ADD. Well, it's very late in the day. It is. It's not a good idea for us to do this. You know, the last time we did this, you were drinking. You were drinking bourbon, so you were an insane person. I did that. I don't drink. When I drink, I sip. So I had maybe a couple of sips. That wouldn't make be enough to make me insane. It, remember, I had to take it away from you. 
how quickly we you're, forget. You're going to start a rumor. Hey, quick reminder, we love hearing from you, and you have a few different ways to get a hold of us. You can write us at iPadToday at twit.tv. Mm. You can leave us a voicemail at 757-504-IPAD. Mm -hmm. We got several voicemails this week, and everybody wanted me to call them back and included their number, and we can't play those because we're not going to give out your number to the world. Oh, so yeah, don't, don't put your don't number do in that. that. Please don't do that. Why would we call you back? Well, it's I, I know what you want me to do, but I unfortunately... I can do a lot of email responses, but we, we're not going to start talking on the phone. So, so don't leave your number because then we can't play it on the show. And 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 I know just so call back and ask again, but without without the phone number. Or of course you can send us a video, um, like uh, like Carl, the middle school teacher, did. It's always fun to see everybody yeah. who's watching the show and yeah. see your smiling faces and what you do with your iPads as well. So they they hope you'll call them back at home. Hi, this is Sarah Lane from iPad Today. You may have seen me on. Well, a lot of times someone will have a specific question, and so they, they say, an and call me back, right. because, you know, I'm, I'm using this a little bit like tech support, right. and we sometimes can incorporate tech support questions into the show. R rarely can we do that. Well, some, well, ask Leo, for example. Right. We do, that, uh, they, we do that segment on the show from time to time. From time to time. Yeah. If I think that we, can, if we have an answer, or, or if we don't, it's, you know, something right. that, right. that the chat room can help us answer. That so don't put thing. your phone in there, otherwise we can't play it on the air. That's correct. We'd have we have to do, bloop it. That would be too hard. That would just be, I don't too know. Too much trouble. Just cumbersome. Yeah. We don't want our lives to become cumbersome. Not going to do that. No. Mm -hmm. So the phone number is? 757-504-IPAD. Thought it was. Yeah. Do you use Audible? Uh, yeah. Good. Because you had a long flight to Europe. That's I did. It's a lot of time on the plane. You could I be did. listening to a book. Mm -hmm. There's lots to do. You could listen to iPad today, too. You could watch Desperate Housewives, or you could, like, get an education. Real Housewives, not Desperate Housewives. That's what Housewives is, is a show also. Oh, I guess I guess you're right. I see what you did there. You could watch Real Housewives. Yeah. Which uh, venue of the Real Housewives do you prefer? I don't actually watch any of them really because... Beverly Hills? I, I, I did download some Beverly Hills before yeah. my trip. I don't want to admit that. They but live I did. beautifully. No, they're, they're, beautiful they're land very of, unhappy people. That's what I love about it. Well... <laughs> Because it I guess even, we feel better about our, well, we about our little about our lives. lives right. Because they are unhappy. Yeah, that's right. That's what I like about it. See, they wouldn't be if they had Audible. You know, okay, I like Hollywood. Here's a good book from Audible. Uh, in fact, uh, Annie Naco was talking about it on Mac Break Weekly. Stephen Tobolowski's The Dangerous Animal Club. You know who he is? He was in, uh, oh, he's been in so many uh, movies. He was in Arrested Development. He's a character actor, very well known. Maybe you'd recognize it if I... If, well, I haven't downloaded it on this one yet. I just bought this today. This is the Audible app. Now, it's an iPhone app, but actually I think it looks pretty darn good sure. on the uh, iPad. It works just fine. Every book I've ever purchased on, I, on Audible is here, and I have bought over 500 books. This is my library. If I decide that I want to listen to a book, I can just download it. What was that? It's not one of my books. I could tell you that. Okay. Uh, oh, that was oh, a good one. Neil Stevenson, ringing, Reem D. Uh, not my phone. Huh. Uh, American Gods by Neil Gaiman. That was an amazing one. Roger Ebert's Life Itself. Fantastic. So many wonderful books. War and Peace, Leo Tolstoy. 60 hours of great audio entertainment. Now, you probably tried to read War and Peace many times. Oh, and I always fell asleep. You always fell asleep with I can't Audible. I do that. My eyes are tired. You listen when you're in the car, you're at the gym, you work out five or six hours a day, I know. There's lots of time to read. You get to, you get to, you do have a long commute. You could be doing Audible in the car. That's when I first got it. Um, you know, Anna Karenina, you're going to go see the movie, listen to the book first, and you, you'll, you know, what a classic a piece of fiction. So here's the deal. If you go to audible.com right now, you can get a free audio book of your choice. We've got a special address, audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. You'll be signing up for the gold account. That's a book a month, but the first month's free. Your first book is free. That is my phone. Yeah, it's your phone. Making noise. That part is. Uh, the first book Pretty is free, brief. and uh, you can cancel any time, pay nothing, and it's yours to keep forever. We also have a free book for you. The uh, Brandon Sanderson uh, book is also free. If you go to audible.com slash Sanderson, that's called Legion. It's a novella. You don't even have to sign up for anything. So that's another one to try. That's in addition to the free In addition. That, I'm just giving you, you two, two yeah. books here. Um, look at all of these. Cloud Atlas. I read that before, uh, before I saw the movie. Uh, no Easy Day, that's amazing. That's the story of the uh, Osama bin Laden raid. Is this how you're so smart? Because it is you absolutely. Because so many audio It is absolutely audiobooks. where I got my education. It wasn't school, it was listening to books. Great books like A Tale of Two Cities, A Picture of Dorian Gray, 
Daniel Suarez's kill decision. I, I like you know what I do is I mix up uh, fiction with nonfiction. Richard Dawkins' Magic of Reality, and then Night Soldiers by Alan First. Uh, the Storm of War: History of World War II with Ready Player One. Will Wheaton's narration of that Ernest Cline classic. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can see I've been listening to the. George R. R. Martin books because I'm excited. Storm of Swords is coming in March on HBO. I know that's your favorite show. So, did you read the books before you watched the uh, TV show for Game of Thrones? Uh, no, I still haven't. Oh, yeah, Audible's a great way to do that. I know. I don't know what's wrong uh, with me. I'm just so excited. Read Storm of Swords now. Okay. AudiblePodcast.com/slash/iPad today. That way, you know the book is yours first, and it, and the, and the show or the movie won't spoil it for you. So, Leo, it's yes, that time of the show. Time to put on a fancy hat. Even though this is a special show, we would never have an episode of iPad Today without... Matching hats. Without... Now I have to find my special... So festive. I feel like I could be Grumpy Cat right now. So festive. Okay. So, this is the part of the show where we put on festive, festive caps. Festive gear, headgear. While we each talk about the app of the week that we liked. And <sighs> we've decided, get app caps. Um, this is actually a really fun one, Leo. You know, I, I don't have a lot of money, but I do a lot of window shopping on my iPad. Okay. In fact, that little sixth grader who said that she liked online shopping on her iPad, I hear you, I, sister. I do a lot of that, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the latest app that I love is called Wantful. Have you heard Wantful? of this? Wantful, no, but I want it. Yeah, so this is this is a really neat is, app. Now, because, is it stuff for guys as well as gals? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's almost not even gender-specific at all. Wantful has been a, uh, a, a web service for a while now. So it's like Fab or Glitter or all it's, of those shopping? You could... Uh, Fancy. It's, it's a little. It's similar to something like Fab in the the types of gifts mm -hmm. that would be suggested to you. However, here's what's cool about Wantful, is that it combines stuff to actually buy with really interesting stories behind. Uh, oh, it's the Peterson catalog, J. Peterson catalog. It's like the J. Peterson. I was walking in the deserts of the Mohawk. Peterman. 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 Yeah. Yeah, so this is this is um all, all, uh, it's kind of a I miss the J. Peterman catalog. This is good. This a is a background yeah. on you know these 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 sniffer glasses. <laughs> so if I you know and, and you in you know, I went through that really quickly, but this is actually something that um so, you oh, know somebody wrote that. up. Somebody and put and some you, copy in there. Yeah, it gives you a, clever gives you, writing. Yeah, it gives you a little little uh, background on what you might be looking for. Now here's what's really weird. Okay. And I have no idea if this is my issue or if there's a little bug going on with Wantful, but everything is being displayed to me in South African <laughs> currency. In the Rand. Yeah. Huh. And I don't want to do that. So I, huh. you know, if I were to go ahead and say this Woodstock cocktail set looks amazing, I absolutely love it. It's 159 love it. Rands. Yeah, I'll go ahead and buy it. You go mm. ahead and check out. Um, at that point, um, I, I just, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't even know what 158 rand is wow. in dollars. It in, could off be the top anything. Of my head. Is that what R is chat room? Because we think that was my guess, but I, I don't know what it is. What I think is. I think that this is an extremely obscure issue that I have had with Google for a while, where it always wants to locate me in South Africa. But it's Google is not I Wantful. Know, I know, and and I actually signed up to Wantful. I, I quickly signed up through Facebook, not Google. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on, but I. Replicas of I powerful assume. luxury boats. Neat, huh? Yeah. I, I actually may have a tip f for you, Sarah. Uh, what voice did you select for Siri? Oh, she's got a Russian voice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, remember you did. You chose the South African voice. Oh, my You'd gosh. You'd like the Boer voice. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's my. She said her region. Holy You balls. set your language to Afrikaans. <laughs> Hold the phone. <laughs> Are you serious right now? That's why. Are you Chad, serious? Chad, you, you get a raise. Serious right now? Language? In no, I said... I said... The accent. The, um... No, I said... The voice? Make it U.S. American? American? Not the language. Siri voice. Well, where is that? Probably under, It'd be under Siri. Siri. Yeah. Well, I'm looking under Siri. Mm. Mm. Oh, it'd be under speech, so it'd be under oh, um, yeah, yeah. it'd be under uh, uh, universal access and, yes. and that sort of stuff. Okay. Accessibility. Accessibility, maybe. 
Accessibility voiceover. Region format. Oh my gosh, I did choose that. Afrikaans. <laughs> hey, if anybody has this very obscure yeah. issue, issue, this might be it. Now hold on, let's let's cancel out of Wantful, and then I'll re. That's actually a good dud tip. Yeah, that's yeah. a really good dud tip because yeah. I would not have thought of that. Okay. I, so your it, language settings. Is were... my mind about to be blown right now? Because if so, this really a really fun New Year's Eve gift. Okay. So let's go back to stories, wines. It's been driving her crazy. I'm gonna read my wine story. Oh, I was I thought I was uh, completely insane. Let's see how much that is in dollars. Yes, it's three hundred twenty-five <laughs> US dollars. Yeah, baby. That's a lot of money for three wines. Yeah, now you don't want it. My 158 goodness. rands, that seemed like reasonable. Holy crap. Well, <laughs> thank you, Chad. Merry Christmas You're to welcome. you, buddy. Wow, that's great. Wow. Um, so are all of these things, they, they look pretty upscale. Kind of fancy. They're gifty. They're gifty. gifty. I think that also this is, a lot of this is, you know, you know, I, I, I could say, okay, this pen is really exciting. I love pens. Yeah, so you know. I, lo I love this that's pen. That's not bad. Here's an yeah. AL Sport fountain pen from Kawako. 76 bucks. Right, but it, I could go ahead and buy it, or I could just say that I want it. It's something that I'm collecting for later. Maybe it's going to be a nice gift. Does it put it on Pinterest? Um, no, if you share, um, it just does the does the usual, Twitter, Facebook, or, or yeah. email uh, to friends. I just like I like the layout of this. I, I, I think it's really nice. I, I like the little stories. I spent some time uh, reading why these particular products are are interesting and, and the people behind them who make them are also interesting. And that's why I bought myself a little fur hat. No, actually, I did This didn't. is the new catalog. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've been talking yeah. about catalogs. But I, I just, I like to get lost in this for a while. This is, it's truly window shopping. It's curation. Yeah. You know. So that's wonderful. Um, it's completely free. Um, should be. Should be. Yeah. Because you're going to spend You're not millions. buying anything yet. Yeah. And, uh, and that's my app cap. Oh, look, they have little bonsai trees. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They've got little, they've got yeah. little everything. Little. Hey, so what's your app cap, Leo? Well, you know, I, I, I'm embarrassed to say it's something that you picked before. Yes, that's true, but it is I discovered a this, true favorite. And I guess I either wasn't here when you picked it or I wasn't paying attention. You've picked cookbooks before. Yeah. But this is called How to Cook Everything. It's Mark, Mark Bittman. Uh, Wiley and Sons, but now Mark Bittman, who is he? He writes for the New York Times, Times. right? Yeah. yeah, he's a he's a he's a chef. He's a food critic. He's he he writes about health and 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 sustainability and uh, you know everything food. What I like about this is, is it's more like a complete cookbook than some of the other things we've looked at, which are kind of specialty, you know, barbecue or something. Right. This is kind of the joy of cooking for your iPad, so you can browse recipes. It has a huge number of recipes. There's feature recipes every uh, week. But you could see this, the categories. Let's say uh, it's time to do some, uh, uh, I don't know, what should we make? Um, turkey, how about, because the holidays are coming. These are all turkey recipes. Mm -hmm. Now, what's interesting about this, here's uh, the basic 45-minute roast turkey, is there's a lot of information in here about uh, not merely the recipe, uh, but technique, which I think is fantastic. For instance, here's how to carve a turkey. Yeah. Um, you can make shopping lists in here, which is which is wonderful. And then there's related content, 28 crowd-pleasing side dishes you may not have thought of for Thanksgiving. So it is kind of, uh, it, look, it, a cookbook is very basic. It's recipe, right? right? How do you do something? This has that. But then, in addition, it uses the interactivity of something like the iPad. I'm going to turn this down because it's awfully bright, isn't it? It is bright. Yeah, let me just turn this down. I thought we did this earlier. Oh, it got bright again. All right, now can you see it, Jack? Yes, yeah, that's that much, better. much, much better. Um, also, as you can see, you can upvote it, uh, and so that influences the most popular recipes. You can obviously share it. What's nice is you can print it, you can share it to Twitter, share it to Facebook, you can email it, mm -hmm. or add it to your calendar. So if you were doing meal planning, you could one by one add these uh, recipes to your calendar so that they'd be there. Um, and it has timers on it, too, which is kind of fun. So. Uh, if you set a timer as as you're as you're working, you can have a variety of dishes, and it will let you know when each one is ready. Um, so this is the kind of thing not that you would get in bed and browse. Maybe you would, but but as much you would keep in the kitchen by your side as you're making something, uh, so that you would have the recipe, the steps, the timers would be running. I think this is really great. Here's how to crush and peel garlic. Really nicely done. What I like about this app, and and honestly, of all the cooking apps, because uh, I always like to download a new cooking app because it's just kind of fun for me. This is actually the utility. It's very 
Yes. That that I that, this is what I go back it's to. It's the joy of cooking of, of cooking apps. Yeah. It's, it's I've the, got my favorites here. It's the here. one everybody needs, right? Mm -hmm. Of of uh, of of how to cook everything. I've in fact I made my slow cooked green beans last night. Uh -huh. It was it was uh, it was it was exactly what it, it just be, the thing is is like I'm still not good enough to rem commit it to memory. So this is just something that I go back to like now what is I use I do cookbooks it? all the time. How do I, don't, I do this whole I don't thing? think there should be any stigma about using cookbooks. I think it's 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 fine. Oh yeah. And 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 like you said, it's more than just um, uh, recipes because he has really cool kitchen basics. Like right. here are the sorts of things, you know, if you're going to have five different knives, or, or even one, really, or, or a certain kind of uh, casserole dish. I mean, this is what it should kind of be, and here's the, here's the type of material to stay away from. And one other thing, not to hijack your app cap here, I'm just very Please do. You app. spent more time with it than I have, yeah. One thing that I love, I absolutely love, um, and I've seen this in a couple other apps too, but if you are in the middle of a recipe, right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm making my chard with oranges, and shallots recipe, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking through the recipe, and I'm like, okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm cooking, and my hands are kind of dirty and everything. A little, a little tip in the lower right hand corner, you can uh, keep the screen on to never dim uh, while you're in the middle of what you're doing, because uh, you know when it dims and you got to do this, and then you that gotta, is perfect. So it just stays on. Now, of course, it's going to run down your battery if you're cooking. It for a while, but okay. it really comes in handy when you're in the kitchen and you want it there, and you don't want to be touching it right. more than you have to. This should be great with that suction cup uh, stand. Yes, in the kitchen, it sure would. They also have dinner plans. For instance, Christmas Day dinner. Now this sounds wonderful: boiled, grilled, or roast chestnuts, simple green salad, roast goose, rice pilaf, seven ways, slow cooked green beans, saute Brussels sprouts with bacon. We'll leave the bacon out for Sarah. Pomegranate mousse. Mm -hmm. What I mean, this this is done for you. Holiday dinner with friends, elegant buffet lunch, New Year's Eve blowout dinner. Ooh, smoked salmon or trout dip, crab cakes, greens with fruit, crown roast of pork, weiss, wild rice pilaf, braised and glazed butternut squash and I rich know. chocolate tort. Really Happy good stuff. New Year. I know. Mark Mark Bittman is he's great. He's he's just my favorite. He his whole thing is. Cooking does not have to be complicated. Right. You're just intimidated because you're not necessarily that familiar with with the tools that you need in the kitchen. Uh, recipes don't you don't have to have a million different ingredients in a recipe to make it good. Some of the best stuff is is the most simple. So he he kind of walks you through it. And I'm a little intimidated in the kitchen, but but I like to. I don't be. think I think you're a good cook. I don't think you should be. Well, actually. you've never even eaten my stuff. It's That's why I bad. think you're a good cook. <laughs> no, it's fun. You have it's, the aura of a good. It's cook. fun. Now this is this is ten bucks, but keep in mind it's like having a cookbook that's constantly being updated. I would consider it a cookbook. Yes. This is not like a quickie. There are a lot of uh, cooking apps on the. This is not uh, a iPad gimmicky anything. That are gimmicky. This is this is your joy of cooking. This yes. is your basic cookbook. Everybody needs one anyway. Yep. It's going to cost thirty or forty bucks in hardcover. Right. This is on your iPad and always there. And by the way, for anybody who's a vegetarian, uh, which I am, uh, there is another uh, version called How, How to Cook Everything Vegetarian. Oh. Uh, so which That's is wonderful. Wh yeah, which is also uh, ten dollars. Isn't that nice I of him? I find that in the regular app, there's plenty right. that I work with. I also eat fish, so you know I'm a little yeah. bit of a hybrid. But um, but you do have a, a couple other options. So he, he, you know, it's not just meat and potatoes. For everybody. Hey, Leo. Guess what? What, Sarah Lane? This is the last episode of iPad Today for 2012. That's because we burnt the radio to the ground. That's right. We can't right. make another show. No, it's, we're gonna have to build another set. <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna see each other. Somebody next left year. the fire burning. All what? It's true. We're not no, we see, are. We're gonna see. Oh, right. We're not gonna see each other till next year. We're not gonna see this each other till next year. We're not gonna see you guys till next year. That's true. That's true. So, Happy New Year. <laughs> happy New Year. Have a great holiday. <laughs> Have a good one. Please come back safe and sound. Yes. Uh, do not... Oh, my shoe is in the fire. Yes, that, please that don't that burn burns. your shoes. Uh, do not um, take uh, any wooden nickels. No. And, and I, we hope you didn't get lumps of coals in your stocking. I hope you got something nice. And I hope you have a little bit more eggnog. I have a quart waiting for me when I get home. And... Oh, cool. Fun. Just drink it right out of the carton. That's Just how I do it. Right it tastes carton. better that way. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching iPad today. See you next year. Happy 2012. Happy New Year. Woo!